very lucky today to have on this show a person with a lot of class. This is uh, Louis. Louis the 14th. So there, there's been 13 of you before. You want to you wanna turn that off? Okay. Hello, Louis. Am I saying that right? No. They call you the Sun King. Why is that? Who? Oh, because my emblem is actually a sun. That's pretty nifty. Let me ask you, what was your early life like? I'm not gonna lie. That implies that you lie a lot. My dad left me in 1643 because he died. Then I became king when I was four and three quarters. So that's when Cardinal Jules Mazarin guided France. Yes. You were just a boy. Yes, during Le Fronde in 1648, when the noblemen and parliament rebelled and threatened me, so I had to leave my mommy from Paris. That must have influenced your later policies, huh? Sacre bleu! I made sure all authority rested in me, myself, and my ministers, instead of those stinky nobility. So, after you married Teresa I, you revoked the Edict of Nantes? Yes, I did not want those Protestants running amok, creating a thriving middle class. Who needs freedom of religion when l'état c'est moi? Yeah, people told me that you were the state, but I never saw the resemblance. It seems to me, though, that you wanted no opposition and all power. What was your intention in getting this? I wanted Le France to be the superpower of Europe, a fountain of cultural supremacy. So your economy was based off of pots and chairs. What an interesting concept. I have to say though, have you seen Versailles? Yes. I needed a place to stay away from Paris. It was becoming congested. The hunting lodge there was too small, so I tore that stuff down and built Versailles at my new palace. 700 rooms, 67 staircases, 200,000 trees, and 200,000 flowers, also 50 fountains. What do you need so many things for? It is a projection of my magnificence. Okay, what about your military endeavors? I tried to take the Spanish Netherlands, but it didn't work. Then, of course, there was the War of Spanish Succession. In the end, Philip, my grandson, was king of Spain but only after I spent all of my money. So, when you died in 1715, uh, how broke were you? Negative money. Noble spent all of their money, too, trying to one-up me. So, you made sure that you had all the power and that your opponents could never even once check you before they wrecked you. Why? I am a viker of God. Do you really think that? Absolutely. Okay, that about wraps it up. Uh, thank you, Lewis, for joining us. Thank you. You're welcome. For having me. Anytime. No thanks. Alright, see you folks next time.